I think the benefit of this is easily captured in a conversation yesterday when one of our team members said, you know, that presentation this morning saved us six months of research. A 20 minute conversation saved me six months. Canadian uh, Foundation for Healthcare Improvement is a huge resource to ensuring that we can make those steps and make them happen. We certainly have similar issues that we're tackling. Um, some obviously are, are more um, probably adept to getting change at a very local level, but certainly at a provincial level. I think we have a lot to share and I think we've developed pockets of expertise that I, I certainly think can be shared at the table. The Canadian Foundation for Healthcare Improvement is in the healthcare improvement business. We are working together with health leaders across Atlantic Canada, bringing them together to learn from each other, to implement change, go through the change management process together, and ultimately improve the care experience and the health outcomes of their populations. By doing this together, we reduce duplication, we avoid pilot projects, and we actually have a big impact in the region. It's going to show the way and it's going to show us that things can change if you have serious engagement to make change. I think this will succeed for several really important reasons and that is that it's not like a traditional collaborative which is where you get a number of people who really have very like minds come together. So always academics or politicians or policy makers or care providers. So this collaborative really is one that brings the different sectors together. So when you can have the academics with the clinicians and then the policy makers and the funders, that's when actual change can happen. I just feel so deeply in my heart that the outcomes from this work are going to be fabulous. When we look at all of the projects that are there, um, some of them similar, but some of them quite different, but all of them paying attention to what's truly important in Atlantic Canada has been identified by the regional health authorities and by our ministries of health. It's a pleasure to be here and I thank the foundation to associate me with this project. It's a Always a pleasure to work with them and it's always a big learning experience. There's an energy in the room between teams, people talking at the breaks, uh, sharing information, uh, identifying how to go forward and have the success at their local level. We absolutely believe in chronic disease management and the more that people can collaborate together and learn, uh, be more innovative, truly you're going to um, come up with solutions that hopefully will address the impact of, of these healthcare issues longer term. You think you're on the same page, you think you're all working towards the same end goal, but until you actually start to unpack it and say, what does success look like to you? How do you measure if you're doing a, a good job or if you're providing high quality services to patients and families? It's not until you really look at that in the face as a group of people who don't otherwise come together that you really start to honestly address that and answer that in a way that you'll be able to effectively measure change.